Since I started 3D printing almost four years ago, I've accumulated a lot of knowledge and printers. Hamish here, his journey is just beginning. What made you want to buy a printer? Ah. Printing just looked like fun, so I thought I might as well give it a go, as well as print off some terrain for some board games. Is there a reason why you chose this specific printer? Because you recommended it. Oh, he's got two cameras, so which one do I look at? So the printer that we've got here for Hamish is the Anycubic Cobra Go. A great beginner printer with a lot of user-friendly features, perfect for someone getting started in their journey of 3D printing. Step, step one, the packing list. Screw the packing list. So that is the magnetic bed, one of the best features. Very cool. So that, that'll ride along here like that. Oh goodness me. Oh. Now we just move the Z. There we go. Is that on properly? That looks like it's on properly. The bed heats up. Yeah, so when it gets hot, of course, metal expands when it gets hot, so you want to level when it's hot, so it's just going to heat up now. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, I'm so looking forward to printing our stuff. So we just have to make this a bit straight, maybe tighten it a bit so it doesn't become as loose. Hey, stop so, looking at me. How long has it been since we started working on this? Too long. It's been like three hours. Yeah. Ish. And, and it ran into the bed, we got a little bit of a... It murdered the bed. I'm gonna have to do this, I'm gonna have to look at this when I get home. That's not good, what if it self-destructs while I'm gone? Oh no. That is so cool. That's a good looking first layer actually. Yeah, it's like, we got a little scratch Hamish. What, on this? How could we? Don't what? worry Hamish. I don't think this is gonna look the same. Eh, <laughs> that's not I'm too bad. I'm a genius Hamish. That's not too bad. Well, I'm going to watch this until I go. Unfortunately, the print did end up failing due to a lack of filament, but that's kind of my fault as I cut the filament when it got tangled. Overwhelmed with success, me and Hamish hopped into Cura and began slicing up a Benchy to print. We decided to start using the green spool first. I can see it! Keep I can it. see some of the green! This is gonna look so cool! The print ended successfully and did indeed look quite cool. There was a minuscule amount of stringing, but overall the print quality was great and the transition between the white and green filament is a nice feature. Assuming this becomes a series, thank you for watching part 1 and hopefully I'll see you again soon.